Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. And today we are reacting to Blueface. Now, <clears throat> before we get to that, what are we sponsored by? We are sponsored by eForms.com. That's eForms.com. What did I say? I said eForms.com. Now, eForms.com is an excellent place to get any kind of legal form, no matter what state you're from, no matter what kind of issue you're looking at. Let's say, for example, you and your mother decide to open a CBD farm and you need a business agreement because you don't really trust your mother all that much. Well, you can get a partnership agreement to make everything fair and so you can have that agreement in place so you don't have to worry about her ripping you off. Although, if it's your mother, she's probably just a fine lady. Anyway, eforms.com, if you need a business agreement, you need a bill of sale, you need a power of attorney, whatever you need for your legal, don't hire me. Why would you hire me to do that? Because guess where I'd go? I'd go to eforms.com and you do that and you can cut me out of it and save a ton of money. I almost said something else. And also, if you look at the link for Bonfire down below, remember we've got all this merch and guess what's coming up? Christmas. You know, Stop Self Stitching Gear is the best thing you can get for any of your people to get, uh, get that message out there. So go to Bonfire, uh, click on the link. So now today we're, we're reacting to Blueface. Now, let's talk a little bit about who Blueface is first. Blueface is a, is a rap artist, and he uh, was kind of an offbeat. And when I say offbeat, I mean not your typical rhythm uh, type of artist. And he kind of blew up over the song Thotiana, T-H-O-T. You know what that means, that hole over there. And he sort of kind of went whole hog on that, uh, that thought stuff. Anyway... And he started making some music, and he started getting into some weird shit, okay? He did this really weird thing where he had all these women that he didn't pay and, and tried to do this uh, subscription OnlyFans type page where you got to watch these chicks fight in and, and this Christian rock. And, and, he, and, and every one of them had to have a freaking tattoo, and he makes statements like, uh, any bitch of mine has to be completely subservient or something like this. Guess what that sounds like? It, what does that sound like to you? That really sounds to me a lot like R. Kelly. I mean, it just sounds like it. It's ripe for uh, all kinds. I mean, somebody broke a leg. They're constantly fighting. He and uh, Christian Rock are, are kind of always fighting. And so go to Patrick CC. He's got a good recitation of where he's been and where he's going. And it, it just his whole history. So... Blueface allegedly opened fire on a vehicle in Vegas. Now, we're going to watch this video and react to it a little bit here. And he got arrested for attempted murder. So this whole thing with Blueface started by a bad joke. And the bad joke, well, an insult probably. He said he was talking to some family members in a, in a cheap car, whatever, whatever the joke was. He and his crew didn't take too kindly to it. And then the man tried to take off in his truck and pop, 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 pop. He, he went after him. So we'll play the video of what happened and kind of analyze this in terms of what he's looking at. So you see him, so that's, that's Blueface right there. And if you look right there, you can see the outline of his gun and his, and his, his belt. I don't know if he's got any prior record that prohibits him from having a firearm. I don't think so. But here he is in Vegas outside of a strip club with a firearm. So you can see, you can see the outline on his belt. And the truck pulls up. This is the truck in question. You see where the arrow is? That's, that's the muzzle flash. <clears throat> it's highlighting the muzzle flash. You see the woman running, running out of the car because she doesn't want to be around any of that gunfire. So we see this is just a, a replay of the same thing. You see Blueface walking out of the club walking across the street and this guy gets in his car and he's driving in front of the club you'll see the pickup pulling up or the truck coming up in a minute
he stops. Now you see the muzzle flash. Now let's back that up just a little bit. Let's replay that. The truck pulls up. Now the, immediately when the truck pulls up, Blueface and his buddies were over there doing whatever, and all of a sudden they see this guy in the in the truck come. Now, if I'm Blueface's lawyer, this car immediately kind of goes to the left. One could argue that it looks like he's trying to run somebody over, because why why isn't he just going straight? Uh, Blueface is now firing as the vehicle is getting closer to him. Yeah, and he jump, and he goes over the curb. So if I'm if I'm Blueface's lawyer, this is uh, a case of self defense because what is a, a vehicle if not a deadly weapon, especially when it's used in a manner to threaten somebody else? There's two different types of defenses in a case like this. There, it, when, it, when it comes to self defense, there's either stay in your ground or duty to retreat. So, but in in any event, no matter what your what kind of situation you're in you have to have a uh, reasonable force all right so if the jury doesn't think it's reasonable though what you did what you did then you, your self-defense is not an option but in my opinion looking at this just I, this is the first time I've seen this video so I, I, I don't know <clears throat> all the background to this uh, except for what I'm telling you here now it looks to me like that pickup or that that truck is going to the left and and like almost targeting uh, blue face and so what does he do he fires into the vehicle face right here yo that's blue face the undercover cops just pulled up on him bro they got him i don't know what the fuck's going on look that's blue face right there and cray there's blue face getting arrested on he's with his sweetheart who's got multiple tattoos of him by the way ladies ladies don't put your boyfriend's neck on, uh, or face on your neck ever or on your face or on your whatever don't do that no because you may not be with that guy all of a sudden you know that guy's going to town on you and he's looking at some other guy's face who wants that nobody wants that all right anyway so this is this is blue face getting arrested on the street they just got his ass and threw him down get the fuck out Hey, yo, chill out. Everybody relax. And you know, and he's on the ground, but that's how that's on a felony arrest that is, a, you know, based upon a an attempted murder or based upon a firing of a weapon. They're gonna take him down hard because they're not gonna give him an opportunity to to pull his weapon. Notice these guys are are in plain clothes. There's there's usually a team in a, in a most jurisdictions. It's called a VCAT team violent crime arrest team and what they do is you know they get the warrant and they're responsible for arresting people on felony violent crimes and so those are much different than say insurance fraud you know where there's no weapons involved in insurance fraud right so the, those guys generally get a, uh, a summons and depending on, unless it's like a federal thing that's a, a much larger on a case like this, though, where there's a, a firearm, and you know the guy probably has a firearm, a firearm on him, or might have a firearm on him, they're going to treat it like a combat situation, sort of, and uh, subdue him with uh, force so he doesn't have any opportunity to put the lives of the officers at risk. And so the guy who's... Um, narrating this who's saying what are you doing man what are you doing hey you could have talked to him blah 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 well he's got no idea that they have this arrest warrant that he's got no idea what this is all about and 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 sure were they rough with him did they take him to the ground yeah but it doesn't look like they were overly rough because he got up right away and and now he's on to court so let's let's see what happens now we had this is actually kind of interesting because we we have the scene right now we have the arrest. Let's go to court. Recall. All right, I've asked to recall a case from the in-custody calendar. Now, they don't call him Blueface. They call him by his given name. And so within 36 or 48 hours, he, they have to bring you in front of a judge. And this is called your initial appearance. 
at the initial appearance, there's two things that happen. They read you the complaint on the record, and then they, uh, if you want that, otherwise you can waive it. Generally, you waive the reading of the complaint, and then they determine conditions of release. So in this case, bail and probably no contact with the victim. Jonathan Porter, 22CR04956. See that 22CR04957? That's the court file number. If you wanted any information about that, you could go online and, uh, and look that up. Is your true name Jonathan Jamal Porter? Yes. Uh, Mr. Porter, the state has filed a criminal complaint charging you with attempt murder with use of deadly weapon, discharging firearm at or into occupied structure or vehicle. These are two felony offenses. Did you receive a copy of that criminal complaint this morning? Yes. So now here's the thing. If if he's firing into that vehicle because that vehicle is driving his way and trying to run him over, there, that's, a, that's a valid self-defense claim. And that's kind of what it looks like to me. See you later. Counsel here, our next different counsel. Thank you, Your Honor. Christina Bolton, Kevin Damon, Lisa Rasmussen on behalf of Jonathan we had the opportunity to meet with our client, with our client here on this morning. Counsel, I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take over. Um, we met with Mr. Uh, Porter. He lives in Los Angeles. We asked that reasonable bail be set. Um, the uh, obviously allegations um, in this case are of the nature that bail would be set in the ordinary course. So we ask that that happen. Um, also in some cases, she just said that bail would be set in the ordinary course. What that means basically is that this is the type of case where you would get bail. There are some cases in some jurisdictions where you don't get any bail. In federal court, for example, you're charged with multiple conspiracy counts and you have prior uh, drug cases. It's a rebuttable presumption that there is no bail. So you're detained while the case is pending. To and no contact with the victim <coughs> in this case it is a uh, intabious bail. Well, let, let me hear the state's position on custody status and then I'll hear further representations from the defense counsel. And Your Honor, the state will be requesting bail in the amount of $75,000. Um, according to the NPR, the defendant is a moderate risk to defend. Um, it looks like he does not really have ties to the community he lives in. So the state's asked for 75000 Now, I'm not sure. I haven't seen this yet either. So we're at kind of watching this for the first time, both of us. So 75000 if it's a bond, I mean, you have to come up with 10% of that uh, and then collateralize it. So that's, that wouldn't be that much. But if it's 75000 cash, that's quite a different story. In California. He also has a bench warrant issued out of Good Springs in case 20 m CG 06161. He also does have a prior misdemeanor conviction. The incident offense um, is the charges here are violent in nature. The defendant, um, during the course of an argument, pulls out a gun and shoots at a, uh, a vehicle that is actually driving away. So, that really, if you look at the video, now I, I don't know what the people are going to say who are the witnesses, but if you, if you look at it, it, it looks like he, the vehicle is not really just running or driving away. It looks like he's trying to drive into him. Based upon the nature of the charges in this case, uh, the defendant's lack of ties to this community and his uh, bench warrant that was issued out of Christopher Prince, I believe to be requested to bail in the amount of $75,000. Right, thank you. Right? I do see that he's also in custody on a 2020 uh, Good Springs no registration uh, bench warrant pending. So when you don't show up to court, you get a warrant. And when you get a warrant for not showing up to court, guess what? Your bail kind of gets elevated because you, they determine that you're a risk of flight. So whenever you analyze bail, there's two things, risk of flight and danger to the public. You got a violent crime here, and you got somebody from out of state who has a bench warrant. Bench warrant return. I'll next step from so, Your Honor, obviously that's a traffic ticket, and it's a registration offense, so that, that we can deal with um, through the Good Springs Court. I, I, I mean, obviously he's entitled to bail on that, right? And uh, I don't necessarily think that the $75,000 bail is, is inappropriate. I think 50 would also be appropriate. He does live in Los Angeles. He's willing to agree that he would only come to Las Vegas for the purposes of resolving these court hearing, this court hearing in this case. So if, if the court wants to set that condition, that is fine. Um, but otherwise, I, 
I, I submit to the court, I think 50000 is equally appropriate. Okay, thank you. And what's the difference between fifty or seventy-five? Is is really not that big a difference. But 75000 I don't think is outrageous on, on a, an attempted murder case. Um, I, I have to take into uh, consideration a number of factors here. Um, th there does appear to be an indication of employment uh, that was mentioned in, in the arrest. Yeah, I'm an OnlyFans page. <laughs> Fuck. In the arrest, uh, the request for an arrest warrant, um, he was arrested on an outstanding warrant on a, on a much less serious case and is likely to be released. At the age of 25, he appears to have a minimal history, if any, looks like um, an arrest in 2016 and a, a misdemeanor conviction. It looks like he's got a number of people uh, supporting him in the courtroom today. That's another thing that's a, that's a good factor for him. If you have people that are supporting you and a lack of criminal history, that's another reason to give you a break on bail. Including, I've been told, a fiancé and, and some friends and, and some uh, business associates. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Um, I, I am going to set bail in this case based on the nature of the charges. The allegations are quite serious and, and could have been much worse. Uh, 50000 is a reasonable amount of bail. Bail will be set in the amount of 50000 cash or surety. Like Okay, now that's what I was trying to figure out, cash or a surety. So if it's 50000 cash, then he's got to come up with 50000 cash. If it's $50,000 surety, that's a bond, so he only has to come up with 10%. You know, it's so funny. I'm sitting there watching this court hearing, and I almost feel like I'm in court because this this is very – almost every court hearing, bail hearing, is runs just like this. So Blueface is looking at attempted murder charges and shooting into a motor vehicle or structure – but I think he's got a defense here because it kind of looked like the guy was veering the truck towards him, and that's when the shots were fired, not when he was driving away. It didn't look like he was driving away. He's 25 years old. He's now entered the realm of adult court and very serious, serious, serious charges. The state's got some trouble with their charges, but it seems to me that he's gotten off track. I mean, he starts the uh, the reality show with uh, Krayshawn. He he starts this OnlyFans thing. Dude, just get back to fucking music. Just get back to your music. Just get back to doing what you do best. You know, I mean, this either Andrew Tate thing kind of thing, or or you know, with the subscriptions. I mean, who the hell would subscribe fifty dollars a month to his OnlyFans so they can watch chicks beat the shit out of each other? I mean, maybe once or twice, but I mean, if I'm if I'm sitting at home in my uh, Cheeto stained underwear and my mother's basement and I'm watching these guys, I mean, come on, you, you do something else with your life, honestly. And any chick, any chick that would put their fucking boyfriend's tattoo on their neck or the here and there, don't do that, ladies. Don't do that, because if all of a sudden you're my girlfriend and uh, I'm sitting there. You know, we're making out, and I look at your neck, and I see some other guy's face. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not happening. So I wish Blueface the best. He needs to refocus. He needs to ditch his old fucking contracts. I mean, he's done some good work, and he's got some big hits. He just needs to, uh, I think, refocus and, uh, and, and stop with the fucking drama. But that'll – hopefully he'll mature out of that. And so, and the, the average male brain isn't really fully developed until 25, 26 years old anyway. So that is all we're going to talk about on Blueface because um, now I'm blue in the face talking about Blueface. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, uh, like, follow, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you go to Bonfire and order your merch so it gets there before the holidays. If you come with a bucket hat, and you give it to your loved one on Christmas, they will love you. And I'll love you for spreading the mer my message of stop self snitching. See you next time on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please, is that my god?